Lonson Universal Power Limited by Share was founded in 1993. It is a large private enterprise engaged in motorcycle motorcycle engine and general power machine production. Its products are sold in more than 100 countries and regions around the world. With the improvement of environmental protection concepts it has also begun to dabble in outdoor power stations. Charger Lab has previously tested the portable power station EP1650 of eHome. It performed well in terms of charging discharging and functionality. This time we got another portable power station EP600 also from eHome. Its battery capacity is 512 watt hour. The rated output power is 600 watts. It also adopts the ELF B battery and bidirectional inverter. It features Spurflux technology, and it can charge 10 devices at the same time. It can be fully charged via mains electricity in 1.3 hours and has a battery life of up to 3,500 cycles. It supports solar charging and comes with a portable storage box. Next let's do some tests to see how it performs. The package comes with an AC power cord and a car charger. It is equipped with E-Sturdy technology. It supports IPX3 protection and supports drops from a height of 1.2 meters. The built-in high-quality components battery management system and LFB batteries can ensure reliability for outdoor use. Compared to EP1650, EP600 is smaller. There are two handles on the top which are adjustable making it easier to carry and save space. There is an LED light on the front that can adjust the brightness. There is a wireless charging area in the middle of the top. The wireless charging power can be up to 15 watts and also supports MagSafe. Some ports in the display are concentrated on this side. The TrueSight anti-glare display can still be easily seen clearly under outdoor sunlight. And the brightness can be adjusted from 0 to 100%. Compared with similar products, the display effect is much better. On the right side of the display are the car charger port, two DC5521 output ports, two USB-C ports, and two USB-A ports. The car charger can support a charging power of up to 12.6 volt 10 amp 126 watts. The output power of a single DC5521 port is 36 watts, and the total output of two ports is 72 watts. The output power of a single USB-C port is 100 watts and the total output of two ports is 200 watts. The output power of a single USB-A port is 18 watts and the total output of two ports is 36 watts. Each port is protected by a dust-proof rubber plug. The AC output module is on the other side. There are two European AC outlets here. It supports a rated voltage of 230 volts and a rated output power of 600 watts. It can output a maximum power of 660 watts for a long time. And it can drive devices with a power rating of 1600 watts through Spurflux technology. There is a plastic cover under the AC output module. There is a DC input port AC input port overload protector and grounding port inside. The AC input supports a maximum power of 600 watts, and the DC input supports a maximum power of 160 watts. There are two buckles on the bottom left and right. After separating the buckle you can open the storage box. It can store AC and DC charging cables or place some tools or medicines to deal with emergencies. To achieve long-term stable output it uses cold fusion technology. The built-in high-speed fan and the fluid mechanics design with independent intellectual property rights allow the cooling air to flow through and cover the heat source as fully as possible to achieve temperature control. The EP600 is also available in a variety of colors to meet the different needs of consumers. The tough design reflects the durability of it. The metal handle on the top and the storage box at the bottom reflects the understanding and respect for user experience. Next we will test the protocols supported by the USB-A and USB-C ports. Charger Lab Power ZKM 003C shows the USB-C can support FCP, SCP, AFC, QC 3.0, QC 5, SFCP, PD 3.0, PPSD, CP and Apple 2.4 amp charging protocols. And it has 5 fixed PDOs of 5 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts, 15 volts, 3 amp and 20 volts, 5 amp and a set of PPS. 
Charger Lab Power ZKM 003C shows the USB-A can support FCP, SCP-A, FCQC 3.0, SFCP, DCP, and Apple 2.4 amp charging protocols. Next, let's see the charging compatibility of the USB-C and USB-A. Using USB-C port to charge devices that support 5 amp PPS can get a charging power of more than 50 watts. Move to the USB-A. The charging power remains in the ranges of 10 watts, 15 watts, and 28 watts. It has no compatibility issues and can provide fast charging for most phones, like EP1650. EP600 also supports control by app. Connect the power station via Bluetooth then you can see the remaining power available time etc. You can turn on the spur flux adjust the display brightness and more in settings. It also supports OTA. The application is easy to use. Its two AC outlets both support an output power of 600 watts. With the Spurflux technology it can drive high power electrical appliances with a rated power of up to 1600 watts. When the rated power of the electrical appliances is greater than its rated power it can automatically reduce the output voltage to reduce the load to prevent it from being overloaded. Low power electrical appliances can run normally under load. It can also be operated when multiple devices are output and the power supply can be continuously supplied at a state exceeding part of the rating. It also has the EPS function. When it is connected to the power grid with a power cord while powering the device the bypass mode will be triggered and the power grid will directly power the appliance. When the power grid fails it can switch to power supply mode within 15 millisecond. It supports the quite quiet technology. The noise when working is lower than the similar products. The fan speed can be adjusted according to the load to control the noise. Measured at a distance of 1 meter at 50% load the noise is 32 decibels. When fully loaded and measured at a distance of 1 meter the noise is 38 decibels. The fan speed at 50% load is significantly lower than that at full load. When working at full load that is the output power is 600 watts and the noise meter shows a noise of 50.8 decibels at a distance of about 0.25 meters. In addition to multiple output ways it can also support multiple input ways. First it can be charged by the wall outlet. Using the included high power power cord the maximum input power can reach about 600 watts. It also can be charged by the car charger. When the input is 12 volt 8 amp the power is about 75 watts. When the input is 24 volt 8 amp the power is about 162 watts. It can support an input power of up to 160 watts by solar panel. It supports the Nitro Go fast charging technology. We charge it with the original high power power cord and record the data with the PA300 power meter. It can be charged to 50% in 29 minutes, 80% in 46 minutes, and 100% in 1 hour and 20 minutes. The charging speed is the same as what it claims. Let it continue to output at 550 watts until the power is exhausted and record the data. The test results are as follows. It can be seen that when the power bank continues to output for 23 minutes the remaining power is 50%. After 37 minutes of output the remaining power is 20%. And the remaining power is exhausted at 46 minutes. With cold fusion technology the temperature can be maintained within a reasonable range. After the product is discharged it will not be over temperature protected and can be charged immediately without waiting. The weight is only about 8 kilograms. It supports IPX3 protection and supports drops from a height of 1.2 meters. While reducing weight it also supports multiple input and output ways making it suitable for outdoor camping or energy storage at home. Okay, that's all for today's video. Please drop a like leave your comments and subscribe to us. See you next time. Bye.